Are you confused and stranded on what to do about your life? Have you been down and rising becomes the problem for you because you do not know if you should continue with a relationship or you should back out from it because of the turnout of things. You've started seeing some strange events in your relationship that you do not know what the interpretations are to you. The relationship is no more what it used to be. There is an image of relationship that you have dreamt of for yourself. God knows what you have asked from him. God knows that you have made a mistake from the beginning and now he has heard the groanings of your heart and the tears of your eyes have attracted mercy to you. So God is doing something for you that you may be out of that relationship. When you start seeing some things that you do not bargain for in a relationship that you peacefully agreed to be in, when you start discovering some things that you have not known and these things are not really what you wanted for yourself, then what will you have to do about it? Do you want to know the real interpretation of the signs that you're seeing in your relationship? God is actually speaking to you, but you do not know what to do about it. Now, these are four signs that God does not want you to continue with that relationship. 1. When the peace, happiness and love is now a thing of history in the relationship. What more is the reason for two to come together to become one? You started that relationship with love everywhere, peace and happiness in your life. You will not have time for any other things because you are overwhelmed with the love affairs and the atmosphere of love that is upon you in that relationship. But now you have come to realize that those things are things of the past. The love is no more. The peace and the happiness had disappeared into thin air without any hope of redemption. That is not just happening. What happened was that God is speaking to you about that relationship. God is telling you that the time is now to let go of what is not working for you, to move away and let God fill your life with joy and love. You have to let God bring into your life that person that will be the reason your life will get to the right shape and on the right track of life again. The relationship has destroyed many things about you. Your life is no more as it used to be before, but now you have to see the sign that God is giving to you and what is actually the way out. The reason God has taken away the love and the peace, the reason you're no longer happy in that relationship, is because God wants you to leave that relationship. There is a better place for you and a better person for you. It is with that person that God will give you what he has promised you. You must not ignore the signals of the Lord. You have to see it as a way and a legitimate reason for you to let go. Remember, they that know their God will wax strong and do exploits. You must know your God and the way God relates with you. Those things that he wants to communicate with you, that is the only way you will be sure what the Lord is saying. When you observe that the natural connection that you usually have with that person, the feelings and the affections are not there anymore and you cannot even explain the reason it is like that. If anyone asked you, you may know the status quo of the relationship, but you may not know the chemistry that has brought that relationship to that state of no feeling and lack of emotional attachment. This is clearly because God does not want you to continue with that relationship anymore. 2. When you see a sign of violence in that relationship. Sometimes God hardens the heart of people to make them become the things you do not know. The same person that is meek and gentle as the dove now becomes a predator to you, exhibiting violence to you every now and then. You're confused. You say you love the person, but then you're a victim of what you do not love. You're oftentimes afflicted. You're subjected to pain, and at every opportunity you feel hurt and brokenhearted by the things that they do to you. Violence in a relationship is not what God planned for you. What God wants for you is love. Violence is not love. Hurt is not care. 
If someone loves and cares about you, they will do everything to ensure that you're happy and feel loved. They will discomfort themselves to make you happy. But when God is telling you to move on, God will turn things against all odds so that you will realize yourself. Violence is the way they react to the things God is doing for you. You love that person, but God is saying you should leave the relationship so that you can get into something that will regenerate into love and great affection, something that will bless your life. The delight of the Lord is that you live in relationship that will beautify your life and give you the hope that nothing can be defeated by fear or doubt. This is a sign to you. That is what God is saying to you. And you cannot afford to take any chance of the will of God. It is the will of the Lord for you to live in good health. But when your relationship is not giving you the good health, rather making life worse and making you miserable, then you have to know that you do not belong there. 3. When God keeps speaking to you. If God does not want you to remain in a place, he will speak to you. And when he does want you to go into error, the best thing in the life of a child of God is to be in a good relationship with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God, and that is his channel of communication. If you hear the Spirit of God telling you to quit that relationship that you are, persistently and non-stop, then there is something that God is trying to avoid for you. The Holy Spirit is the one to give you the signal about what God has in mind for you. Can you ask yourself if you have been hearing from the Lord? When last did you hear the voice of God speak to you? And have you yielded to the will and the instructions of the Lord? If God does not want you to continue in that relationship, he will speak to you. And when God speaks to you on such subjects, then you will have to know that God is saying you should not continue with that relationship. The only response and option you have is to pull out from the relationship. Let go of the relationship and let God lead you to someone that will love you. And that person is the will of God for you. God speaks. The word of the Lord means a lot and a lot has come from the Lord to you. Let go. Do not continue with that person. That person is not for you. There is someone for you and that person cannot come into your life. If you do not let go of the other person and make space in your life, God knows you're not happy in that relationship. But you're trying to manage things so that people will not say you're a failure. You cannot make it right without God. And now God is saying you should not continue. That is the reason you cannot change it. 4. If it is not the will of God. One sign that God is telling you that you should not continue with that relationship is that it is not his will. Sometimes some people will go to God to know why things are happening the way it is happening to them in that relationship. In the end, they will realize they are in a relationship that is not the will of the Lord. God is the Lord of your life. And when God is the Lord, he makes the decision, not you. God is the king of your life. So if God is the king, then you have to let the will of his royal majesty prevail in your life. What more will you do? So if the relationship is not the will of God, it is a sign that you do not have to continue with the relationship. With signs, God makes everything known to his people. That is the reason the children of Issachar, they are people that know times and seasons by the signs that they see. And when they see those signs, then they know what God is saying. Now that you have known this, you do not have to find it difficult to make your decision. The only option you have is to let go. Come out of that relationship and move on. Then surrender to God so that God will bring the right person into your life. Thank you.